Hey guys, this is Davis Lindsay from Advanced Motion Graphics here to talk to you today about the Wiggler. So, what is the Wiggler? Um, we're going to be talking about uh, how some of the back end happens in the Wiggler. I'll give you guys a couple examples, and then we're actually going to get into animating with the Wiggler. So, first off, uh, the Wiggler is actually a randomness generator, and it generates things with organic randomness. Um, and it allows you to animate a lot of keyframes or layers without having to do it manually. Um, so you don't want to have to go in and randomly uh, scrub through numbers. That's just going to take a long time. And uh, just by human nature, we're going to naturally start repeating ourselves. So um, Wiggler is great at creating those keyframes for us, and we don't even have to think about it. So some of the properties that we're going to be uh, maneuvering in the Wiggler are frequency and magnitude. So frequency being how many keyframes per second are we going to create, and magnitude being the maximum deviation that we're going to reach in that Wiggler. And when I'm saying maximum deviation, I'm actually talking a little bit about the graph here for the Wiggler. Um, the thing with the Wiggler is it's not completely random, where random will actually generate keyframes uh, at the same percentage level throughout your your magnitude, Wiggler re will actually start to taper off towards those edges. So if your magnitude of x equals 50, um, you may have like maybe 150 value, but a majority of them will be like within uh, the first 10 or 20 uh, values. So the Wiggler actually creates a more organic normal distribution, uh, which is really cool. So for those math nerds out there, just to show you, show you guys what's up with those, uh, that's what's happening with the Wiggler in the back end. Alright, so let's get into some examples because examples are a lot easier to, to grasp and understand. Alright, so the first one we have here is the buzzing sign. So to create a nice flickering, slight, subtle flickering, uh, we actually have the sign opacity flickering in and out there. We also have a nice subtle camera movement on the whole composition in, in general. So with the sign, you're going to have a high frequency with a high uh, magnitude. And with a camera shaking, you probably guessed it, it's going to be a low frequency with a medium magnitude, depending on how large your composition is. And we also have the marching ants example, which is what we'll be doing here in a second. So initially we just created one motion path for each ant, and then we just duplicated it and then added the wheeler to it. So they all kind of follow the same path, but not really. They're all kind of independently making sure there's no crumbs left uh, or somewhere else. All right, so let's get into the marching ants example. That's in the start here folder, and you can just double click into that. And I've already animated the, the ants legs moving and his antennae using the wiggler. And that's what it looks like. Sweet, so to start out, we have to kind of just modify this ant so he looks like he's going the right way. Um, so I'm just going to open up rotation, hit R, and I'm just going to rotate my ant negative 90 so that he's facing the direction that we want him to. Uh, next, I'm going to open up the position keyframes. Uh, you actually need two keyframes for the wiggler to wiggle between, so we're going to actually have to keyframe a little bit, but uh, nothing too big. So I'll hit the position keyframe, move my ant to the right, and then I'll go ahead to about like uh, 115 uh, and then just drag the ant across. Okay, so that was a little too fast, so I'll just drag that out to maybe three seconds instead. That, that'll make him nice smooth, smooth ant. And it's still a little bit fast, so I'm going to drag it out to four seconds. Okay, so once we get that movement, um, I want to add a little uh, wiggler to this. So I'm just going to select the position keyframes, open up my wiggler, and I'm just going to adjust my frequency so it's only a couple times per second, maybe like three. And then I'll increase my magnitude to about 50. And then I'm going to hit apply. And this is what I get. So I have this ant kind of slipping around, uh, but it's not really moving along the path yet. Uh, to make him move along that path, you're going to right-click the layer, and you're going to go to Transform and Auto-Orient. And Auto-Orientation is really powerful because it will actually maneuver, maneuver your layer around so it follows the path. So we can do Orient Along Path, 
And it looks like it's going a little bit backwards here. So we may just have to do a little bit of rotation finagling here in the end. So I'll open up rotation again. And this time I'm going to do positive 90 instead of negative. Very nice. And I'm just going to duplicate that ant. I'm going to delete the keyframes in between here so I can reapply my wiggler. And this time I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Instead of a uh, magnitude so high, I'm going to bring that down maybe to 30. And I'm going to bring my frequency down too, just so that we have a little bit more variation in how these ants move. So this one's a little less jagged. It's a little bit more smooth. And I'll duplicate that again. Get rid of those middle keyframes. I may duplicate them one more time too, just so I have have a, a clean ant to work from. And then I'm just going to modify my frequency down to one, magnitude down to twenty, just kind of adding a little variation to the, the movements of these guys. So maybe I'll bring another one up to three and make his magnitude up higher too. Cool. All right, so we've got all our ants moving across there. Our final step is just to offset these. And uh, we have a special way to do this. Uh, and we're going to have an extra tutorial here for you guys. So um, first, I'm going to do it the manual way. And if you'd like to check out the expert way of how to do this, you can go into the extra tutorials on the server. And I'll explain sequence layers to you. So uh, to offset these guys, um, manual way, we're just going to slightly shift these layers one by one by 10 keyframes. So I'm just holding down shift and clicking to move those one by one. And this is what our ants look like. We've got a few a few crazy ants, but it looks like the leader is doing a good job scouting and the second mate is right behind him. All right, so that's it for the Wayload tutorial. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about uh, the back end and a little bit of how to create some awesome movements with the Wiggler. And there's a lot more amazing things that you can do with the Wiggler, um, especially with all the different effects that you have in After Effects, because you can wiggle any property with a stopwatch. So definitely check out some cool things in maybe the generate effects or simulation effects and try wiggling those. Uh, it can be really fun. All right, thanks. This is Davis, and have a good day.